Hello everyone. You are once more welcome to this channel. In today's lesson, we are going to prove this transitive property. That is, if A, B, and C are integers, such that A divides B and B divides C, then A must divide C. But before we get into the proof, let's first of all recall the definition of divisibility. We know that A divides B if and only if B can be written as A times M, where M is an integer. That is, if we can find an integer M such that B is equal to AM, then we say A divides B, or B is a multiple of A. Let's take for example, 3 divides 12, since 12 can be written as 3 times 4, where this 4 is an integer. We also know that 2 divides 0, since 0 can be written as 2 times 0, and this 0 is an integer. Now let's get back to the equation. We have to prove that if A divides B, and B divides C, then A must divide C. So we have to start by assuming that A divides B, and if this is true, then B must be equal to A times M, where M is an integer. And if B divides C, then C should be equal to B times N, where N is also an integer. Now we need to use these two hypotheses to show that A divides C. In the first equation, we have B to be equal to AM. And in the second equation, we have C to be equal to BN. And if you substitute B to be equal to AM in the second equation, we are going to have C to be equal to AM, all this multiplied by N. And since the multiplication of integers is associative, we can write this as A multiplied by MN, which can also be written as A times P, where P is equal to MN, and this is also an integer. Since the set of integers is closed, under multiplication, and therefore, from the definition of divisibility, we can conclude that A divides C as required. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to prove that if A divides B and A also divides C, then A divides a linear combination of B and C, where X and Y are also integers. So please, do not forget to subscribe to this channel in order not to miss the video.